makers and art at a major art fair from the collection of the Safe Streets Arts Foundation. This is a typical art show. A major one, 250 exhibitors of art and crafts. We were fortunate to be one of the exhibitors selected, the only one representing prison artists. We brought out hundreds of pieces of art and even created this video you're seeing here that shows more art and photos of the prison artists sent to us by the prisoners themselves. The two-day event attracted thousands of curiosity seekers while not many bought the art, they did take literature and ask questions about the prison artists. We accomplished our purpose of consciousness raising and information dissemination. Perhaps we even changed some attitudes Remember, this was not a justice event. In which we were preaching to the choir. Rather, these are ordinary people. Citizens, voters. Many of whom have very conservative views and a great deal of ignorance about men and women in prison. Very few realize, for example, that 95% of those incarcerated will get out someday to be their neighbors. Here they're seeing the talent and the humanity of people in prison. These art exhibits are made possible by our donors and our volunteers who help prepare for them. They're also expensive, not only to rent the space that we have, but to exhibit. This shows the front view of, our, of the people walking by our exhibit. You see we have greeting cards, literature on the table, people to take. venture inside the exhibit to take a look, and others just kind of hang out, walking by, stop, look, and sometimes listen to us as we answer their questions. A typical question is, where is the art made? We tell them, in prisons and jails all over America. Some prisons have craft shops. Craft shops where inmates can work on their art, while other prisons require inmates to work in their cells. The back of each piece tells something about that, as well as the literature we disseminate. someone who's walked inside to take a closer look. We explain a particular piece that was created by an inmate who only had legal envelopes to piece together and a magic marker to work with. Got a hold of one or two more color magic markers thanks to staff assistance and created a work of art. showing a work created using instant coffee as coloring and strands of hair from the inmate's head as a paintbrush. And here's a typical reaction. Oh my goodness.
He was an ex-prisoner, spent quite a bit of time in the exhibit. Thanking us for what we do. Reading the backs of peace, being enlightened, and even if they don't bother to look, may have very, very conservative attitudes, at least we've given them pause for thought. Another question that comes up is, how do prison artists learn their art? We explain, most are self-taught with the assistance of more experienced prison artists, some of whom were artists before they came to prison, where they are taught by knowledgeable prison staff or volunteers. Here's a couple who purchased a piece. As with all purchasers, as well as donors, we give a free CD of music made in prison, much like the music you're hearing right now, performed by an ex-prisoner. Another question, well, many questions come up, but here's someone who doesn't even bother to ask, just wonders what this is all about, keeps his distance, scratches his head, but walks away with a seed of thought planted there. We explain quite a bit of to those who come by, to those who just stand in front of our table, such as where do artists get their materials, create the art? They come from different sources, including prison craft shops. Order catalogs, outside contributions, and some prisons with extremely restrictive requirements. The inmates have to create on their own. Dyes from food and candy. Improvise however they can. Whether they buy or not, and most people do not buy, they learn something about the art. <laughs>